To make self-edits to your DoorDash menu, log into your merchant portal at doordash.com slash merchant. Use the username and password given to you upon joining DoorDash. If you can't remember your login, no problem. Reach out to doordash.com slash help. Take a look at the navigation bar along the left-hand side of the screen. Click on the tab that reads Inventory. If you're missing an Inventory tab, check out the Merchant Portal Troubleshooting page. A drop-down will appear under the Inventory tab that lists your menus. If you only have one menu, it will just say Menu. If you have more than one, you might see All Day Menu and Lunch Menu or any variety of your existing menu titles. Click on the title of the menu that needs the update. The title of your menu now appears at the top of your screen. Don't worry, customers don't see this title. They only see whether the menu is breakfast, lunch, dinner, all day, etc. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a preview of your categories and modifiers. None of the titles in this section are links, but you can scroll up and down for a quick overview. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find boxes of categories. Your category's name is at the top of each box in black font. All items contained in that category appear within the same box in red font. To update a category, click on the name in black. You can now type in a new title or subtitle and click Save. To update an item, click on the name in red. You can now type in a new title, description, or price and click Save. If you'd like to add an item, the DoorDash menu team is happy to help. Contact them through the menu form and don't forget to let them know the price. The last aspect of self-edits in the Merchant Portal are modifier edits. Modifiers are the choices you give customers to help them clarify their order. Scroll beyond the category boxes and you'll see modifier group boxes. Modifier group titles appear at the top of each box in black font. Underneath, you'll see a bulleted list of each item that modifier is attached to. To update a modifier group title, click on the name in black. You can now type in a new title or subtitle and click Save. To update a modifier, click on the name in red. You can now type in a new title, description, or price, and click Save. If you need a modifier removed from or added to an item, again, please feel free to reach out to the menu team. Repeat this process if your update also applies to your other menus. Making an update to one menu doesn't update all. Happy editing!